So let's, let's move on to the UK, uh, the country that gave the world the Beatles and then punished it with Coldplay. Uh, the UK also got a visit from the president this week, although their royals gave him a somewhat warmer welcome. The Queen herself, in an extraordinary gesture of friendship, coming out with Prince Philip to greet the Obamas. 94-year-old Prince Philip even drove them to lunch. I have never uh, been driven by uh, a Duke of Edinburgh before. Uh, and I can report that it was very smooth riding. Sure, sure. Although, let's be honest. Any ride with a 94-year-old man behind the wheel that doesn't end with your skull shattered against a tree counts as a smooth ride. <laughs> and, and those were not the only royals greeting the Obamas on this visit. A royal handshake from little Prince George up past his bedtime to meet the president. The toddler in a spa robe, matching pajamas and slippers, all of it shared on a young royal's Twitter feed. That robe, OMG, so sweet, one follower wrote, and the most adorable display of a power dynamic ever. Is it, though? Is it because I would say it's a little demeaning for the president to have to crouch down and greet a toddler dressed as Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Although, to be fair, this trip was not all royal photo ops. The president also spoke out in favour of Britain staying in the EU, something that enraged London's mayor, Boris Johnson, and he did not hold back. In an article for right-wing tabloid, Johnson slammed Obama for taking a bust of Winston Churchill out of the Oval Office. Johnson wrote that Obama was compelled to oppose the UK due to, quote, the part Kenyan president's ancestral dislike of the British Empire. Holy shit! Or to put that another way, he may not like us because of our history of racism, Boris Johnson said racistly. And, <laughs> and I'll say this, it's a little hard to hear a man reduce Obama's views to him being part Kenyan when that man is himself clearly part Cabbage Patch Kid. 